The penultimate day of the five-day match racing marathon that is the Congressional Cup saw the top eight of 12 teams advance to the quarterfinals. We're sailing against Nick, EJ, um, and we really enjoy sailing against Nick. I got, had the opportunity to go down and train with him in New Zealand before the Worlds in 2022. So he's one of our training partners. Uh, we both know each other really good, so it'll be a lot of fun on the water. Um, well, I think against Chris, he's got he's got a very well-rounded package, so it doesn't really matter. He doesn't seem like he's got many weaknesses at the moment. So um, for us, we just have to sail very, very smoothly. Um, there's a little bit more pressure on him maybe, so just keep make sure the races are close and see how we stack up against him at the end of the day. I think that's all we can do really. Um, I don't think we've really got, you can see a weakness in his game at the moment, and so uh, we've got to make sure that we just don't put a foot wrong and see if he has a bad day. Yeah, for now we take it one stage at a time. Uh, we need to get this quarterfinals over with and uh, Eric is a hard team to beat. Um, but hopefully we can find ourselves in the semi-finals and still have a chance to win the Crimson Blazer. Tapper's aggressive at this point. Ten seconds to go. Tapper's going to go to the right. Green flag, no penalty. Spinnaker wrap. Come on, boys, get that wrap out. Oh, got it. Yeah, they coming got away, it. Coming away, coming away. And Eric Monin on two wins. Bork finished second last year and wants to do even better. He's going to have to sail better than this as he's lost his last two. Is Captain going to turn around the wrong mark here? Oh, that's a big mistake. Pool spins around inside of him, gets rid of his penalty with that move. Pool Spinnaker is up first. Brady trying to roll. Pool has pace, but Brady has the angle. Almost bow to bow, and I think Gavin Brady. Yes, yes. He got it. What a match. We got a bit confused with the uh, change of course, but he got a penalty, so uh, it's a good race for us, actually. It's a good one to, um, to get on him. Hey, come on. Closing range. It's a flag, penalty from uh, Chris Poole asking the umpires, did Brady make a mistake or not? Yes, he did. Gavin Brady, one of the most aggressive on the match racing tour. And there it is. Oh, wow. Brady did it. Neither team has a penalty. Not what you wanted to do. He tacks back. It's close to a collision. And there goes the spinnaker collapsing from Tapper to Leward, who now shifts into defensive mode as the current world champion, Ian Williams, rolls over him. He can't take that! Oh boy. He can't take that! He's he's four. Four. Down on four. Right down. Oh. They're not happy with that. That's great. Last jive for Nick Eggnog Johnson. Okay. Last chance saloon. Oh! Hadid, Hadid, Hadid. Hadid. Drops on Ian Williams' oh, wow. boat. It slows the boat down. They didn't run over it. They responded, but Nick Eggnog Johnson had already completed his jive. Okay. EJ's <laughs> coming from behind. This is going to be a photo oh, finish. Oh, oh my finish. goodness. Right at the last second, but Ian Williams still pulls it off. Incredible. Nice yeah, and had a little bit of a hiccup at the end there with us. Got to keep improving into tomorrow. Just that. Very close, though. The umpires, you don't want them to ever get in the middle of your match. And there's why oh, yellow boy. flag penalty to Mona. With the semifinal stage now set, the 59th Congressional Cup comes to a close tomorrow.